Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this, the Audi A5 Cabriolet. This is the S-Line variant. Let's quickly open the engine bay right away. And this is the engine bay. It's a diesel, usually convertibles aren't diesel. It gets hydraulic struts, lot of insulation here. And of course the engine is packed really very nicely. In fact, it seems like this car can't fit any other engine because the engine bay is very compact. Well, it actually could possibly. Anyways, this is the design of this beautiful looking A5 Cabriolet, which I believe is one of the best looking Audis right now. Really sharp cuts and creases and whatnot. You can see on the hood as well. It gets full LED lights. Obviously, it gets headlamp washer. Front parking sensors. It also gets a towing hook here. Quarter written here. Massive Audi grille. Audi logo there. And you know, the treatment over here on the front bumper is really nice. Very sporty. Car looks beautiful. You can see these aerodynamic winglets from here. Actually, air is pulled in. I don't know for what exactly, probably to cool the brakes. But hey, the car looks absolutely mind-bogglingly nice. Just look at it now. The color is green, the roof is red, which makes it kind of different here. But it definitely looks very nice. I love the design of this vehicle. Now it gets 18 inch wheels. These are Michelin tires on this particular vehicle. The tire size is 245, 40, 80 inch. Massive brake size as well, rather this size. The alloys also look nice. Yeah, like really very sharp Audi logo there. Brake calibers could have been colored in red, which would have matched with the roof. Of course, S-line written here. You can see the mirrors. They don't touch the body. Again, they're very aerodynamic and sporty mirrors here. So you can see the design of the car is really very, very, very nice. From the rear, it's a typical Audi. It says A5. It says Quattro. Audi logo there. And over here, obviously, oh my God, it is so hot to an exhaust here. Bumper colored in black. Rear parking sensor. There's a reverse parking camera here. Design is where Audi has nailed it with the A5 cab because it obviously looks gorgeous with the roof up but with the roof down it looks even better but before we put the roof down we should definitely open the boot of this vehicle now let me tell you that if i wave my foot below here then the boot lid will open actually it will not because it's not that functional at times and uh, this is the key of the car so you can see uh, there's a button to press to open the boot so now there's a lot of things in the boot as well now this is obviously the warning triangle and the boot isn't that big it is actually 380 liters big which actually becomes 320 liters reduces by 60 liters with the roof down but what if you stuff luggage inside and then open the roof what will happen the roof mechanism might break so what audi has done is given it this button and you press this button this thing falls down yeah this is where actually the roof gets stored now the boot capacity is 320 liters but this is so smart you know you don't have to think about oh should i put in more luggage what if i open the roof will it fit because with this down you know that the space for keeping the roof has been factored in anyways i can put it back up as well that is how it works by the way i can increase the boot carrying capacity by reclining the second row of seats by pressing this button there it goes it reclines press this button yeah that's how it happens press of a button and it can be done now you can recline it by pulling this button but if you want to put it back you have to do it manually okay over here you've got storage space there's a light here as well there's a hook here there's a hook here again storage space here along with toolkits and this is the towing hook which is placed here in the boot itself this is the first aid kit meanwhile the spare wheel isn't an alloy of course neither is it a full size spare wheel because there won't be space to keep it so this is a space saver tire which happens to be a 125 i believe 125 17 19 maximum speed 80 kilometers per hour yeah that is not cost cutting it's just space saving so you have to manually close this okay now how does the roof go down well it is quite simple you press a button and when you press a button the roof will fold it takes the roof 15 seconds to fold you can use it till a speed of 50 kilometers per hour meanwhile if you want to put the roof back up well it takes 18 seconds three more seconds because obviously gravity is something which you have to factor in as well now you can see with the roof down obviously the car absolutely transforms into looking something massively beautiful yeah i love the design once the roof is down it looks so gorgeous just look at it isn't it a beauty okay i know i know i have to do this turn on the hazard lights put these seats back as well so the seats are back into place and what a beautiful looking car with the roof down dynamic swipe indicators which swipe from inside to outside and as i walk around let me tell you car looks absolutely scintillatingly gorgeous at the front too you get the beautiful indicators but they are not the dynamic swipe indicators so in terms of design definitely the audi a5 cab looks beautiful now is it a four-seater or what well 
firstly the doors open large and wide frameless doors of course they are longer than usual door pockets are decent sized here s written over here because the s line electric adjust for both the front seats but it doesn't get memory settings all right i'm sorry i have to remove your seat belt meanwhile you can press this button to push this ahead yeah that is automatic keep the button pressed and there it goes so this is the rear seat of the car now getting in and out is quite easy which i did not expect it would be but there is a decent amount of space not for a tall passenger like me from someone who's six feet two inches however they have actually given ac vents here along with temperature control it gets a three zone climate control air conditioning there's also a 12 volt charging socket here so yes person sitting in the rear will feel a little claustrophobic but at least there'll be air blowing on your face meanwhile there's space to keep your hand here and uh, there is no storage space here as such which is best for two people it gets isofix child seat mounts and adjustable headrests too but the seat is just too upright and under thigh support is kind of poor so it's best for kids for small journeys that's about it although i've never really sat in the rear seat of a 2 plus 2 car because there's not much space but getting in and out is so freaking easy i love the fact you just keep a button pressed and there it goes i mean that is really very smart in this car and it's so easy to push it forward and behind i like this i absolutely like this thing which audi has done here all right walking to get inside the car now it doesn't get passive entry you have to use the key to open and you know what the door handles they open like this they go upwards which again is a nice touch these are the controls for the power windows this is obviously the controls for the outside rear view mirror this is to open the boot of the vehicle and you know what the boot of the vehicle opens all the way press a button and it goes all the way in one go yeah but you have to push it to put it behind back again door pockets aren't really large as such i thought they are large but they're not really very large bang and also an audio system now obviously a lot of stuff is optional because this is the s-line trim if i want to go here here again this one is quite easy same as the one over there meanwhile yeah the car definitely looks quite nice electric adjust for the driver's seat obviously however unfortunately there is no memory function here meanwhile you can see there's a massive dead pedal the brake pedal is massive as well there's storage space here to keep stuff oh god this is quite oh my god this is really very deep now how do i demonstrate how deep that is well i don't know but trust me it is massively deep like okay you can see how much this much of my hand goes that means it is so deep again let's try that yeah quite deep a storage the steering doesn't get electric adjust unfortunately these are the controls for the headlights this is to increase or decrease the intensity of the instrument cluster now this is to obviously turn on the fog light of the vehicle let's quickly get inside now yes there is good amount of storage here that is twin cup holders here below the front center armrest as well there's storage and you know what there's an aux and there are two usb ports here as well along with a 12 volt charging socket or rather it's a cigarette lighter here and uh, the glove box is also decent size it's not massively big but there are two sd slots here along with a sim slot here and there's a cd player too which again means that there's a lot of media functionality in this car and this is obviously to adjust the steering for both reach as well as rake and let me just turn off the indicators meanwhile the doors they shut with a proper thud and the seat belt actually comes forward to tell you that hey you don't have to go all the way behind i will give you the seat belt so let's just show it to you once again so here i close the door there it comes ahead just makes it so much easy to wear the seat belt and this is not only for the driver but also for the passenger which means if i open it like this yeah it has to sense if a passenger is sitting here because his weight isn't enough for it to sense it says quattro here just to remind you it has got quattro all-wheel drive system now this is the multimedia infotainment system here and can be controlled by this rotary dial meanwhile there is a pad here which has one to eight numbers if you want to input it gets navigation radio media everything is here nice finishing here look at the finishing this is the engine start button there's a 12 volt charging socket here as well and the good thing about this car is that there's a lot of premium quality material like look at the switches they're really very nice even this switch look at it it's very nice and you know what where's the temperature shown inside this very 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 premium very nicely done audi i absolutely love this thing beautiful this is actually the controls for the air conditioning this is the hazard light switch meanwhile this is of course the controls for this multimedia information system and uh, you know it gets the map it gets virtual cockpit and you can see a complete map there dials are beautiful this is actually one of the best virtual cockpit systems in the market right now plenty of information on offer here you get all the regular information now when i get into the car mode you can see i can see all the information drive assist as well as what is the short term long term consumption date time blah 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 lot of information there and you can see all the stuff is right below 
here so odometer trip meter temperature time seat belt warning this is actually the engine temperature this is the fuel meter this is the speedometer with the digital speedometer inset this is obviously the tachometer with the gear position indicator inset and these are actually the controls for the audio system this is for the navigation this is obviously for the wipers this is for the indicators and this is for the cruise control here you know what i'm not going to do a wiper test because all the water is going to come on me from the sides meanwhile you can see the paddles they're made of plastic but they are good it gets this flat bottom steering wheel the horn is really nice i love the way the steering has been done it's very nice and beautiful the system is also very nice and beautiful it gets an auto dimming inside rear view mirror it's frameless there's a light here which is again a touch activated light the sun visors are small because obviously it's a convertible and there's a light here along with a mirror here same as the case here light along with a mirror here meanwhile you can see the dashboard design is really very nice and premium it gets this gray sort of treatment which actually takes time to grow on you but once it does you will absolutely love it this is to turn off the screen this is to turn off the parking sensor this is to turn off traction control this is for the drive select modes meanwhile let's get into reverse right away and this is the reverse parking camera it obviously gets adaptive guidelines it gets front and rear parking sensors reverse parking camera works brilliantly well gives a great view of what's around as well meanwhile this is for the volume and this is for auto hold this is the electric parking brake meanwhile these are the controls for the roof functions if i want to close the roof i have to keep this button pressed yeah pull it upwards and there the roof comes out and it closes like i told you it takes 18 seconds to do that and uh, actually the insulation is quite good but when you're standing at a signal and if there are bikers around who are talking loudly you can actually hear them on the inside yes that's how it goes that quarter glass also opens separately as you've already seen it is automatically turn on the air conditioning as soon as i close the roof that is so smart of it because you don't really have to think all this it does it on its own in fact because once the roof is down you won't be able to hear audio right if you're trying to talk on a bluetooth system well you know what i'll show you another cool thing on this car check this out all right you can see it has got microphones here on the seat belt for the bluetooth connectivity so even if you're driving with a lot of wind in your hair you can still be audible when you're making a phone call that is how smart it is and it's not just here it is there on the other seat belt as well yeah it's there on the other seat belt as well that is the level of attention to detail audi has put into this car which deserves an applause absolutely great stuff love it to the core now let us get outside this drive select now you know what there's a lot of information you can get into car and basically this is the drive select then you can get into vehicle settings and you can decide a lot of stuff including what you want the background lighting to be there are actually a few colors here as well but most importantly you know what this is such a slick system because every time you use this dial the rotary dial you can feel it because it makes this click noise which is so satisfying to the soul i mean it is so freaking cool i love it now you obviously have a lot of assistance system as well but nothing really Really fancy as such which you would expect in an 88 lakh rupee car yeah volvo has spoiled us dramatically and obviously you get rain sensing wipers you get automatic headlights and whatnot so car is plenty loaded and at this price you would definitely expect it to be meanwhile let's quickly play an audio right away <laughs> Audio quality is absolutely sensational. These Bang & Olufsen speakers work so well and insulation is brilliant. It's like a disco inside here. The seats are also very comfortable. There's good amount of back support. Under thigh support is better than average. Could have been better. And headroom is plenty once you put the roof down. Meanwhile, I know you guys want me to do it. So here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> 